everyone i'm just coming on here for a few brief moments to just do a really short update and i know it's hard because like you know we watch these things like coming like we watch these huge things that could be you know pivotal to us leaving like catalyst to us leaving and you know it just comes and goes and i know it can be really discouraging and you know it's in those times where we really have to press into the lord and it's almost like we have to you know, still believe his word, like he's coming, you know, and then all the end time signs are, they're lining right up. So we know he's coming, his promises are still true, even when we don't see, you know, as much happening, like right now there's a lag. We just have to believe by faith that, you know, he is who he says he is, he's going to do what he says he's going to do, and that when he says it's the end, which we see all the signs, they're all in place, then it is the end and he is coming very, very imminently. So, um, with that being said, yeah, it's definitely still a struggle. It's a battle, but you know, there's a crown in the end for those who watch. So, um, I just want to encourage you to stay on that watch post. Don't fall asleep. Stay close to Christ. Get the gospel out and, you know, use, use the urgency you have for his coming to get the gospel out and to warn people and to be his hands and feet. So with that being said, there's a couple things I'm really watching for. So obviously the Trump announcement did not happen. So that source of intel was either not reliable or it just was not accurate. So maybe it was going to happen, but it didn't. Or maybe it simply wasn't God's appointed time. Now, sometimes I use sources that may not necessarily be like cross-referenceable. You may not be able to find something on another website about it, but sometimes when Intel comes out, it's like prophecy. Like you have to test it and see if it happens. So sometimes I will share Intel like that and you just feel free to do your own research. You know, um, like for me, I never jump to the conclusion that it's going to happen, but I think certain things are watchworthy given, you know, either what the Bible says about prophecies that are to come to pass or somebody's prophecy that's extra biblical. I always think it's worth looking at what the intel says and kind of seeing what happens. So that didn't happen, at least not yet. Okay, perhaps it just wasn't God's time. Um, and we're still here. <laughs> I know, I know it's so hard sometimes, but something I'm watching is the NATO summit. It's July 11th and 12th and there's talks that it is possible that Ukraine could try to start something with the power plant prior to that so that the West would get involved and so that they can potentially become a part of NATO. So I'm just kind of like simplifying it, but I'm going to put whatever sources I have in the description box for your reference, but feel free to also do your own research. Um, but so that I'm watching very closely. And this morning I was listening to Sister Gigi's video about how the Holy Spirit pointed out Lithuania to her a few months ago and how there's been nothing going on in Lithuania to our knowledge, except the fact that the summit is now taking place there. So it seems that he's trying to highlight that we need to watch what's going on in Lithuania, which now is the NATO summit. So could it mark our departure? Possibly. Um, can I say for sure? Like, I know what's gonna happen at them, I can't, but if we don't leave, like, you know, tomorrow or tonight even, or the 11th or 12th, I think it's something we need to really, really watch. It's, it's, um, it could be a time marker of sorts. So definitely keep an eye out on what happens like before and through the, the summit and then maybe afterwards. Um, so that I'm watching and then some other intel from Mike from around the world, which I know some of you guys listen to him and some of you don't, some of you don't even believe in Planet X, but let me tell you, like I started praying and asking the Lord, this was back in, I think it was 2021, if Planet X is real. And I kid you not, he literally gave me a dream of Nibiru um, and, and pointing out and going, that's real. Like he showed me and he confirmed it by when I did a video on it, the Strong's concordance number meant wormwood. So to me, it was obviously he was confirming it's real. There's people here that go, no, it's not. It's not real. It's not biblical. Yes, it is. Um, and it seems to line up like when I, I've been doing my research about like the um, the, the seal judgments, the trumpets, the bowls, the effects that it's going to have on the earth line right up with that. So from what I can tell, God uses that to bring judgment onto the earth. Um, so I think there's a lot more about it in like the book of Enoch, I believe, that talks a lot more about the sun, S-U-N, like the sun 
of righteousness and um i believe it's biblical wormwood so i'm watching this and if you disagree that's okay like you don't have to be on my channel if it offends you like you can maybe this isn't the channel for you but um apparently according to mike from around the world intel source wormwood may be visible within two weeks of when he said this so that takes us to approximately the 13th of this month which is right after the nato summit and he said it can literally be any day now so i'm looking for that because i believe if that's the case like everyone's really going to get to see this and if it's only going to happen that soon then we're super close to leaving and i don't really see us being here for feast of trumpets now I could be wrong and maybe the intel, maybe he's off, you know, maybe the timing is wrong because we, we can't know exactly the day necessarily, you know, um, and there is something interesting. Oh, there's thunder. I almost forgot to mention this. So in September, September 18th through 19th, right after the Feast of Trumpets is what people are watching as the potential signing or confirming of the Daniel 927 covenant. But the Antichrist can't do that until the Bride of Christ is removed, the Great Restrainer is removed. So a lot of people are watching that because they that may have to be a deadline that we have to be gone before if that's the case. So um, I'm trying to remember to put that in the description box as a time marker for us. If our understanding is correct on that. And you know FedNow is coming at the end of this month. Um, you know, Fed now is going to be like the start of the CBDCs and everything that's going to be part of the beast system. So, you know, and at that at that summit, the UN, you know, it's going to be the UN and they're going to talk about the sustainable development goals. It's basically the climate agenda that they're going to use to push, you know, their agenda and like take away people's rights during the tribulation. So, and it has to do with 2030. Okay, they want to, it's an accelerated time towards what they're planning on doing by 2030 minus seven years, 2023. So I'm believing the second coming of Christ based on the evidence I've already presented is probably 2030. Um, and I just think that's definitely worth keeping in the back of your mind should we be here past July. But I think July looks like a really good month to leave still. So I'm hoping that encourages somebody. Um that's about all i have for now i'm gonna put everything in the description box that i can provide and for now be blessed and i'll see you here now here there or in the air and hopefully it'll just be in the air <laughs> bye